And welcome back folks, Professor Almeida here to show you how to work with SimBooks and quizzes in SimNet. Now your SimBooks double as your assigned reading and the training simulations and you're going to actually find that the quizzes are very similar to those training sims. So let's just get right on into it here. This is what a SimBook typically looks like and to get to a SimBook from Canvas you just follow the link to your chapter sim book. So this is the Windows 10 sim book in COSA 30. So again, you just follow the link and it will take you here. Now, before we open up the sim book, I wanna show you a few things. First, you'll see there's a progress meter here and I'm 15% of the way through. There are 13 tasks in total. And if I scroll further down, you'll see that there's a checklist here showing what I've completed so far. Now, to get full credit, you're really only responsible for these items here, okay? Wherever it says none, that's just optional, but to get full credit, you wanna go through and complete all 13 tasks in this case, all right? So let's go ahead and open up the sim book. All right, this is what a sim book looks like. In the upper left corner, you have the table of contents. You can also see what I've completed so far, okay? Here you can get your glossary terms, your bookmarks, and then to leave the sim book at any time, you just click on exit book and that will take you right back to where we were before. Also, one other thing, as you are working through your sim book, try not to look at your grades. And the reason for this is because your sim book grades sync in real time. Now, in this case, I'm 15% of the way through, but in my grade book for the class, it's going to show 15% for that sim book assignment, which will actually bring my grade down. So try to avoid looking at your grade book until you are 100% of the way through here. All right, now I've shown you what it looks like to open the sim book. You can also go directly to specific sections here. So I'm gonna choose 1.2. Now you'll see I've already done the let me try simulation, but bear with me here. This is your assigned reading, so you just go through, you read through the material, and then you go for the training simulation, in this case on the left. And you'll see it's divided into three areas, show me, guide me, and let me try. So let me take you through each of the three here, starting with show me. Now in show me, all you have to do is just sit back and watch the simulation. To pin an app to the start menu, first click the start button in the lower left corner of the screen to display the start menu. Okay, so that is show me. Now, real quick here, I can move about the simulation. I can switch to guide me or let me try. I can also exit the simulation by clicking on the X. So real quick, let me show you. This is what it looks like if you go to guide me. Okay, now I'm gonna exit the simulation. I can also get to guide me and let me try from here as well. Now in guide me, you'll see that it's waiting for me to complete the steps. In this case, for step one, click the start button. Well, what if I don't know what the start button is? I can actually show the hint, and the difference between guide me and let me try here is that not only it's going to show me the hint, but also where I need to be, okay? In this case, I'm gonna click here for the start button on the lower left. Now you can see that I got the step correct, and it's gonna move me to step two. One other thing I wanna show you here is that I can mess up as many times as I want, okay? As you can see, I'm just randomly clicking on things, okay? And it will often give me hints if I don't do the step correctly. Now, in this case, I'm gonna need to right-click the Word app, okay? So here we go, next step, and then pin to start. You have successfully completed the guide me. Now I can continue into let me try or I can close out of this. Okay, so let's do let me try real quick. And again, pin the Word app to the start menu. Okay, you'll see it's only one step. I can show the hint if I need to, but notice how the start button is not highlighted for me in this case. Now, real quick, I wanna talk about your quizzes here because your quizzes are actually like the let me try sims, but there are two key differences. Okay, let me explain. The two key differences between let me try and your quizzes, number one, you can't get any hints. Number two, you cannot mess up as many times as you like. You'll have a certain number of attempts and you need to make sure that you get the step right within those attempts, okay? So here in let me try, I can click wherever I want and still get incorrect, 
but in a quiz, I really need to know how to do those steps. Okay, so in this case, pin the Word app to the Start menu. Let's go through this, and we are done. Okay, at this point, you can see that I have that check mark, and if I go back, if I go back here, you'll see that I have that check mark, and again, that progress is complete. One more time, let me show you with 1.3 real quick. I'm gonna go straight to let me try, okay? Just to show you, launch access from the start menu. Okay, here we go, and we are done. You'll see there's that check mark, and again, watch the progress meter here. Okay, here's that progress meter. Now it's at 23%. Anyway, I hope this video has helped you out. Good luck studying those sim books. Good luck with your quizzes. Thanks for watching and I'll see you around. Take care folks.